you get the nice smell. They smell awful. It smells like disgusting feces. So I'll just wash it so everyone else can smell it. Breathe it in. All right. We'll get a nice fat one. Oh, fine. So here is our crawfish, crayfish, crawdad, whatever name you want to call them. Um, because this one, they have the exoskeleton, so it's really, really difficult to cut through with, uh, with a scalpel. I'm going to be using scissors. And um, because they're... Um, a open circulatory system, that means that they don't have blood vessels. So in order for us to see where the blood is going to be, they inject all of their organisms with this like pink rubber stuff. So if you see this like hot pink thing inside of the crawfish, that would be where the blood would be if this organism was alive. So the first thing we are going to do is take a look at the external structures. So as you can tell, at the very front, it has some nice paired antennae. Also has its very large claws. I can't really tell which one is bigger. They both kind of look the same. And then when we flip it on its back, we can see these little feet at the tail. And these are actually called swimmerettes. They are not used for swimming. So swimmerettes is going to be something important to write down. Um, the swimmerettes aren't used for swimming. They are used for reproduction. For uh, female, they hold eggs. And for males, you can look at these two long structures, and that's how you can tell if it's a male or female. These two long swimmerettes are actually used to attach to the female and Re reproduce. What's up? So is there a bunch of No. Ew, it touched me. Okay, let me do this. Because I see me. I did. Well. Oh, you personally? Oh, hold on, I'll do this. Okay. Now, if you're on speaker view, can you see where it just pops up and you see my face? Yeah. Okay, great. Speaker view. Okay. I need another glove. I didn't want to get crawfish juice all over my lap because that would just be gross. All right. So our crawfish back to telling whether it's male or female. The long swimmerettes right here, those long structures, that is how we can tell if it is a male or female. And I wish I could pull the mouth structures up. Okay, and then in the mouth, I didn't show this to first hour, so you guys get the like luxury. I'm just gonna rip its legs off because those are in my way. So the mouth structures right here, you can actually see this. It will come out, which it won't. This right here is called a pedipalp, which is a a pedipalp. P-E-D-I-P-A-L-P. -P -P, pedipalp. Um, there are little feet-like structures that help move food into the mouth. Petty pump. And there are a bunch of different things that we're going to be talking about. 
that I might need to spell out for you. Um, so just if you do need to know how to spell it, let me know. No, I will. Yep. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is cut open the middle section right here to expose the gills. Like I said, I have to use scissors because the exoskeleton is too hard to get through with a scalpel. So I always do an incision across the back and then I go up the side right here, right underneath the eye. And what we have exposed right here are the gills. What do gills do? What are they responsible for? Helping them breathe. So they're responsible for respiration. They're very feathery. And because they deal with respiration, it means that they're gonna have a lot of blood that flows to them. Um, and if we look closely, we can see some of that nasty pink stuff that I was talking about um, inside the gills. I'm actually gonna rip the gills out because they're in my way. Because I wanna get closer to the other stuff. Happen to my oh. okay. So along with doing that side of gills, I'm gonna do this side of the gills because I need to get at some of the more internal structures. Okay, so again, another set of gills, nice, beautiful, feathery. They actually use their legs when they swim their legs and they move their legs around. They actually use them to move water around and into their, or into their gills. I was gonna say lungs, they do not have lungs. Oh, good, I didn't cut through it on this time. So in first hour, I cut through it on accident. So it's good I didn't cut through it on this side. So right here, the very, very top surrounded by all this pink guck, that is the heart. What does the heart do? Pumps blood, right? So all of this pink guck is supposed to be our blood, but because they have an open circulatory system, that's the only way that we could tell where their blood would have traveled. I want to pull all that out. Um, oops. Now I'm going to cut into the head, cutting straight down, because again, inside the head is where a bunch of really important stuff are. We want to see if, if we can look. Hopefully, I didn't cut through it. All right, so a crawfish actually has two stomachs. Something you might wanna write down. One stomach is called a cardiac stomach. They have a cardiac stomach. The cardiac stomach is used to store food. They got one stomach just for food storage. And then they have a second stomach called a pyloric stomach. You spell pyloric, P -L or P -Y -L -O -R -I -C, P-Y-L-O-R-I-C, pyloric. And that one's used to digest. So we got one stomach just to store food and then one stomach to eat food. Must be nice. I wish I had two stomachs. A dessert stomach and a regular stomach. Wouldn't that be so great? Oh man, I could eat, could eat dessert all day. 
So I'm actually gonna remove this. Well, this is one of the stomachs right here. I just ripped it out. We're gonna go see it right now, hopefully. In first hour, I was able to keep it and I did, yay for me, okay. All right, right in here, if I can get my phone to focus, I'm gonna move around like this. All right, right in here, do you guys see those two little lines right there? All right, those two lines are the nerve cords that connect to the brain. Do you see how tiny that is for this thing? So those two little bitty lines are the nerve cords. All the rest of this, do you see how it's kind of like fatty looking and kind of like white and crumbly? That white crumbly fatty looking stuff, those are all the digestive glands. So that's gonna help it digest its food and produce those uh, necessary grossness. Okay, gross, sorry. It's like brown. Anyway, there are two really important glands right here to the left and right of the nerve cords. These are called green glands. Notice how they're called green glands, but they're not actually green. One of the really annoying mysteries about why we named them that. The green glands are responsible for filtering out waste from the blood. So I want you to think like, how do the kidneys work? That's how these green glands work. They work the same way. More digestive stuff, more digestive stuff. I think I might have accidentally cut through it again on the one. I didn't cut through it in first hour, but seems to be my problem. All right, so I'm gonna go down the tail. This is just like a lobster tail if you've ever eaten lobster. Um, this is where all the delicious meat is. Crawfish, the same thing. I mean, they're closely related because they're crustaceans. So I'm uh, pulling back the exoskeleton to expose that tail. I think I need to go a little bit further down. Yeah, unfortunately I cut through it in this hour. It's lots of unfortunate. Um, but on okay, so right through here, I mean you can see where the blood is going to go down into that area. But right underneath it we also have this tube kind of it's like not wanting to lift up right here. That is the intestines. So the intestines run down the back end of the tail, right underneath where all the blood is going. Um, the intestines, stop moving camera. The intestines wanna be close to the blood because the nutrients come from the intestines. So we wanna make sure that our blood comes in contact with that nutrient rich stuff so air, water can diffuse. And unfortunately, I cut through them, but usually they're right here, right before the tail, are the gonads. What are gonads? Yeah. I mean, well, but for both male and female, they're the sex organs. So gonads, hmm? they're usually right before the tail. So right before the tail, that's usually where the gonads are. They're I mean, they're used in reproduction. And that, my friends, is the crayfish. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop, like meet 